first accident for incident in the race. We get to the next restart, seven, eight laps later, lap 147, and this happened. Really scary moment for Ryan Blaney. Watch him here. Everybody bunched up on the restart. That 12 car shoots out of line, and he's going to go nose first into the inside wall where there's no safer barrier. Listen to this. Hard hit for Ryan Blaney. He finished 36th. Luckily, he was okay. This is what he said to the media after coming from the infield care center. I feel better now. I, I honestly, I thought I was going to be fine. I, I really thought I was going to be okay once I got past the grass, back onto the asphalt. I thought I could, I could kind of swing back around when I got off the brake. Never got back right, and I don't know why there's no safety barrier there. It's pretty ridiculous, honestly. Hardest hit I've ever had in my life, so happy to be all right. Just sucks for the Pennzoil Ford Mustang, and uh, yeah, things go home early. We'll talk about the safer barrier situation in a second. We're so glad that Ryan Blaney is okay. First, what happened on this restart, David? Yeah, I mean, they, it's a chain of events that, uh, that Ryan had no part in. You know, when they fire off, uh, he's being aggressive. He's going from second gear to third gear. He's already thinking about his entry into turn one. It looks like Brad Keselowski doesn't get through the gears, gets a little bit of contact. Uh, Ryan gets turned through the grass, and you can tell here that he almost has the car straightened back up, but he can't quite straighten it up, and he hits that wall uh, head on. Uh, so unfortunate uh, chain of events. And, and Ryan talks about it, sliding through the grass. He thought he was going to be okay, and you can see where he releases his brake pedal, trying to get the car to turn back right and get onto the access road, Adam. But, you know, you look at that hit, and you think, well, it's not that bad. He doesn't look like he's going that fast. And I want to remind everybody, it's not how fast you're going. It's how quick you slow down. And when he was about 125 miles an hour on the race, Racetrack when he got turned, he slowed down to the mid 50s when he hit that wall, but he slowed down in a in a blink of an eye, and so uh, an unfortunate set of circumstances that he even found that wall that didn't have a safer barrier. Yeah, I mean, thank the good Lord that NASCAR has made changes and continues to make changes to the front and rear of this next gen car to give them more crush, to make them where the driver doesn't feel as much of an impact. You know, Nashville Super Speedway, our third time there, they have done a phenomenal job with this race another sellout crowd they have truly made it a big event but when i saw him hit that wall and i went oh my gosh there's no safer barrier there we are over 22 years into safer barrier knowledge we know what we need i don't need an expert to look at it i don't need him to evaluate it i don't need to read a press release to say we're looking into it Put safer barriers in. We know there's challenges at road courses. We're not going to have safer barriers on every wall at Chicago this week. We know we don't run them at the Bristol Dirt Race. But we should not here in 2023 be at any oval, Martinsville to Talladega, without safer barriers on every single wall inside and out. I am a big believer in that. Safety first. Unexcusable. No, no doubt, safety first. And we're just glad that Ryan Blaney is okay after that hard hit last night in Nashville. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.